or yes, a lot of hats. I'm with uh, Caney Realty as a realtor. Uh, I, um, I like to call it my side hustle a little bit, um, is One Hope Wine, uh, which um, is a uh, company that um, I do in-home wine testings, in, or in-home wine tastings, and we uh, raise money for uh, charity. Um, and then also, as you mentioned, I'm a Howell ambassador um, for the Howell Area Chamber of Commerce, and I absolutely love that position. Um, being involved in the chamber has been a, a real delight and uh, gotten me back into the community. So. Well, we um, truly appreciate and um, enjoy having you as part of the um, Howell Ambassador Program, and um, you have been a tremendous, tremendous um, volunteer and advocate um, for all of the events that we put on and, and just the, um, the mission of the chamber. So we certainly appreciate that. Thank you, um, it's my pleasure. Well, and kind of going towards um, the real estate side, um, what with this market that has just been crazy for the past few years and now with, mm. with rising interest rates, it's even kind of adding a different component to you to the whole um, scenario of purchasing or selling a home. Oh, oh sure. Um, what's the biggest question um, on buyers' minds that you've been being asked about? Well, uh, certainly you mentioned it is the rising interest rates. So for many people that's meant that um, their buying power has lessened a little as interest rates rise. Um, so now that, you know, it's repositioning. Um, buyers are taking a look at value now. Um, and, and not that they weren't taking a look at value before, but they really have to kind of say, take a step back and say, okay, what am I gonna get for my money now? And what does this mean to my monthly payment? Um, and how, the, how then do I adjust for that? Um, so buyers are, are having to reconsider um, you know what they're looking at um, in terms of, of, a, of a home. Um, it's, it doesn't mean that houses aren't affordable. Um, still, I remember when interest rates were 12 and 18 percent. Um, you know, now we're looking at you know we're knocking on the door six percent. So it's still doable. It's just a little bit of an adjustment for people um, and having to rethink um, where they're positioned. Um, I know a, a big issue that has been out there is the, um, you know, some people will call it the inflated housing market where um, the over asking prices are coming in at these, these ridiculous amounts. How is that impacting buyers now that, like you said, their buying power has lessened? Um, right. For some people, I imagine pretty dramatically if you're going, you know, originally thinking you were at 3% interest, now going up to 6% interest. It's a big difference. That can yeah. be a big difference. Um, how is that then impacting your clientele? Well, I think that it's a matter of, um, things are starting to um, kind of, I don't want to say soften, but they're starting to stabilize a little bit. And I think that's really what it is. I think to your point is, is that the market was so crazy last year and there were people out there, you know, 15 times making offers on homes and you know going crazy amounts of over asking price and appraisal guarantees and all of this craziness has just with the rising of interest rates has caused people to rethink and buyers certainly are taking a step back and rethinking how much really can they afford to go over asking price how much can they afford on an appraisal guarantee and so what it's done is, is is sellers now are starting to see instead of maybe you know 10 and 15 offers on a house they're maybe seeing one or two um, because the buying pool has maybe reduced a little bit at a certain at the price point and um and there are still buyers out there but there may be fewer buyers so people are really starting to um I think it's starting to get back to a little bit more of a normal market, if that makes sense. Whatever that, that normal yes. was, that's <laughs> always the big question. Yeah. Um, well, you kind of talked a little bit about the sellers. So how um, has that impacted the sellers um, outside of what we just talked about? But also, what are the sellers questioning now when they're coming to you to list a house? How has this changed kind of how they look at um, that process? Right, so sellers are going, okay, is my house gonna sell as fast as it did before? Am I gonna get over, you know, what can I expect that's out there in the market? And, um, you know, certainly always when you're selling a home, it's getting your home ready, um, being ready for, you know, the public to come in. 
um, being ready for, you know, what is your bottom line? What are, what are you willing to negotiate as a seller? Um, you know, how low will you go or, or are you not willing to make a, a, a move on it? Pricing your home um, appropriately for your area, for the location, uh, for the size of your home is a huge consideration. So pricing it appropriately will bring you those offers that you're looking for. And if you see a home that is, you know, if you're noticing that your home is within the first 10 days, isn't getting the amount of showings, isn't getting the amount of offers that are coming in, you know you've got your priced over, your home overpriced at that point. So really for sellers now, um, because maybe the buyer pool has reduced a little bit um, and buyers are becoming, uh, and, and we're in spring season right now too, right? So we, we're hitting, in, in about a week, we're gonna be right at peak inventory. Um, so at this point, sellers need to be priced appropriately. And I imagine that sometimes can be a, a difficult <laughs> or conversation yes. to have with someone. Um, I know that everybody, you know, their home is their home. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, always think that it's um, probably worth a little bit more than maybe it is, but not always. But that's um, right. That's that's so, normal. Yeah. So thought price, process. Right. You're right. And so, you know, as, as a real estate agent, as somebody who's trying to bring information to people, right? Because I can't tell somebody what to price their home at. All I can do is provide the information. And pricing a home is a little bit of an art and a science, right? And you know, when you when you look at the science, you look at the comps in the area, you look at other homes that are, are priced in that area, in that location, for that size, for that year of the house. And so you try to put a little bit of science, but you try to put some numbers behind it. Um, and then the other, the other side is, is the art of it, you know. You've been in the business for a while, you know what's going on in the market, you see what buyers are looking at, um, and you, you, you know what your gut is telling you. Um, so you try to bring all those things to the table um, when you're working with a client. And those are, like I said, those are extremely um, unique qualities that real estate agents have to have is kind of that, yes. that balance of being able to, to combat those, um, that the, just the natural thought process that a seller or buyer would have. So right. definitely, like you said, I like that you said it's, it's definitely an art because it takes a lot of finesse <laughs> <laughs> yes, to be does. able to do that. Um, so what makes you different from all the other realtors that we know are out there? Wow, you know, so that's a loaded question, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. I love to put people on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Well, because there are a lot of really good realtors out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. You know, um, and being a real estate agent is, um, requires skill, requires education, um, and um, requires customer service. And really at the end of the day, um, when you look at it, people are, um, but they're selling their home. They're not just oftentimes, and, and this is, this has been the theme this week in, in, in my walk in this real estate um, market, um, is, is that for many people, it's not transactional. For many people, there's a real emotional aspect to it. They've shared their family memories. They've had dinners there. They've had ups and downs there. It's not just some place where they've slept. And so it becomes an emotional um, uh, decision for them and not something that you know people take easily. So I think when you talk about how does an age, you know, what differentiates one agent from another, certainly it's skill and education, but it's also that customer service level. It's that level of value that you bring um, when, you're, when you're walking somebody through this transaction that oftentimes can be very emotional for people. Well, I think it truly is a journey for many people because sure. like you said, they this is somewhere where they've experienced so many um, wonderful, wonderful memories from kids mm -hmm. growing up mm -hmm. um, and also probably some not so good, you know, times, but that's been sure. their comfort. That's been where they've, go, their haven to go and kind of escape from, you know, the world mm -hmm. and then to, to put it open just for people to come in and critique and oh, yeah. um, I'm sure that that's um, that is it's a very emotional journey for people so it does take like you said a lot of skill um, right. and we are blessed in this county to have so many 
good real estate oh, agents. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, and it's it's hard for people to choose, but yeah. I think you know having someone like you that's able to recognize truly what is involved and that it's not mm -hmm. just a transaction for people is right. huge. Yeah. Um, so talking about Livingston County, how long have you been in the county? How long have you lived in the Howell area? Uh, I'm coming on 20 years easily, yeah. Um, we moved out from um, the Garden City area um, when I first met my husband and um, I'll, I'll never forget, he came out, he, he rode his motorcycle out here and uh, we were, we, it was a Sunday and he said, I'm gonna go get a chicken <laughs> for dinner. And I said, okay, rode his bike out, he came back, he said, guess where I went? And I'm like, where? And he said, Howell. And I said, what? And uh, so, you know, it was one thing led to another and we came out here and we looked around and we absolutely fell in love with it and um, haven't looked back, so. Well, and I'm sure knowing the area and being here for so long is another um, skill set that you have that mm. you know does uh, once again um, lead to your success in the real estate market. Being that you know the area and sure. um, yeah. you know the housing markets, um, but I did also want to talk about um, you had a very um, special and well-deserved um, recognition last year's Agent of the Year. Yeah. So tell me a little <laughs> bit more about that. Um, well. Um, I work for a company called K&E Realty, um, and um, Christy and Ed are the owners, uh, broker owners, and um, K&E Realty is a little boutique real estate agency that um, carries the same values and, and um, care that I have for my customers. They have the same care and values. So it, um, it has truly been my honor to work for them. Um, they have given me a lot of uh, guidance and reassurance and um, and just have helped me along my journey. So in terms of, you know, um, partner yourself with people who uh, help you to succeed, it's definitely been um, a very good step. So yeah, it's been, a, it was a nice honor, so. Well, like I said, very well deserved. Yeah, thank you. Um, and we are, um, <laughs> coming up to the end of our chat here pretty soon, but I did want to make sure that people knew exactly how to get a hold of you if they are looking for an agent or know someone that um, is looking for a real estate agent. Um, you can reach me at my phone number, 810-824-8551, or you can email me at Laura, or Laura at KNE Realty. And really quick, um, you're also being promoted in the Real Producers of Brighton and Ann Arbor. What is that, um, what is the Real Producers of Brighton and Ann Arbor? Um, so it's a, you know, industry magazine. It's a, a real estate magazine that's published um, and uh, promote, its sole purpose is to pr promote uh, local real estate agents. So um, in the May issue, you'll be able to find me as a rising star. Wonderful. Well, I encourage everybody to look for that um, that piece of information so that they can learn more about K and E Realty as, as mm -hmm. well as um, you. Wonderful. Right. Thank you. Well, Diane. thank you again for coming out today. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It was my pleasure.